terms. The name of these terms are clearly painted on the cars and very often featured in our souvenir programs as well. These sponsorships are extremely important to these racing teams. They help cover the cost of building and maintenance for years. We urge you to take note of these sponsorships them whenever you have the need of their services or products they have to offer. So have seen the car they sponsor right here at the exciting and top of Maritimes, River Blade Speedway. It's parade time this afternoon, folks. Free race feature when all the drivers get to show off their stuff before they write off their stuff. Leading off our play lot as usual, folks, the St. John Ambulance Mobile First Aid Post. Followed by our tow truck, Laird's Towing and Out of Body. Got a bunch of our Sunday drivers out there to start it off. Folks got the 28 car of Daniel Vaughn, his 83 friends of the 88 of Keith Watson and Jimmy Fenwick out there, folks. The number two of Jerry Vauval. The number 80 car of Ian the Tank Kruger. James Cooter Smith and the Little General Lee in the Cooter Mobile. Number seven car of Goldie McLeod. The, tw the 20 of Donald the Duck Poitier. The 58 of Mike Power right behind Donald Duck. That's the rabbit killer. Maybe he can get himself a duck tonight. 66 of Johnny Hurricane. He's got himself a new car. He toasted his old 87 car, folks, so that's what he's got out there this week. Number double zero of Derek Smith. 26 of Danny LeBlanc. 37 of Slim Jim Tingley and his 87 Avenger. 59 of Daniel Bolinas. 68 of Junior Lee Chapel. 78 of Bob Boucher. Gary Wilson in the number 69 car. Troy Power in the 77 with his co pilot Brian Doucet. Number 5 of Mike Arsenault with number 9 car of Brian Quinlan. 1996 points champion. With number 99 of Henry Bannister. Up by Alan Halfpenny in the 92 machine. Followed by another tow truck, the Taylor's Auto Body Tow Truck. Number 41 of Mike Rogers. And 48 of David Blanus, 1996 points champion. And the 92 car of Alan Halfpenny. Remember folks, these cars go from a static start, they just jump on the gas and that's it. As soon as that green flag drops down, folks, we're... And we're racing, folks! Start of the first race for the day. Zero one car of James Cooter Smith and the little General East taking himself a little bit of a lead there. But the number seven of Gordon McLeod coming in there to take that lead away from him. The number seven car of Cody McLeod is your race leader, folks. Got his little cover type ten out there just ripping it around the track. Is your 
Joe Bar, the 01 car of James Cooter Smith, and the 66 car of Johnny Hurricane. Secondary in the zero one car of Cooter Smith and the sixty six of Johnny Hurricane. Seven car of Golden Abbott has himself a commanding lead. of Johnny Hurricane. Here is Phil Carwash. He's a Petty Kodiak native driving that Cavalier Type 10. Second driver's second heat coming up here just in a few seconds, folks, as soon as we get the truck off of the track and get Goldie back into the pits and get that checkered flag back up here in the starter tower. Remember, folks, we got our canteens are open. We got them. And we're off, folks. We're racing again. Second Sunday driver's seat of the afternoon. Number two car of Jerry Bovada is your early leader, folks, in your second Sunday driver's seat, followed by the number eight of Ian Tank. gets a little greasy and puts her into the infield. So please hurry back out there on that line. Number two, Jerry Bovad. His, his number two citation is your race leader, folks.
Coach number two, Turbo Matt, is still your current race leader, folks. and tight coming over turn number two folks going out the back straight away they're all sick and eight side by side the boys must go through them inside their cars this week Brian Quinlan making a move for first place and he takes it and Derek Smith going for second and he's got it putting his hand now for 75 years in the third position the Bob Boucher is making a move on him, though. Uh, Bob Boucher. Number nine, Brian Clemen is your race right leader, folks. Followed by the double zero of Derek Smith. 78 car of Bob Boucher. Jim Duke battling with Eugene Wiggles for fourth position, folks. Nevada going on for fourth position, folks, between Jim Duke and Eugene Wiggles. We've reached the halfway point. Number nine car, Brian Willen, is still your race leader, folks. Eugene Wiggles gets sideways and puts some pain over there, almost into the wall, folks. We're bringing out the yellow, folks. 
We're going to get the boys to lock off the pedal so he can get it straightened around. As soon as we get them all lined back up, folks, we're going racing again. Don't forget, folks, next week's races are brought to you by Hub City Auto Paints. We have Sportsman 50 going on next week, starting at 6 p.m., folks. And then next week, two weeks from today, July 13th at 6 p.m., Tire Sack 20 Lap Endurance Race and Demolition Derby, $1,000 to win. That's 200 laps for them Sunday drivers. And remember, folks, that down with that endurance race next er, in two weeks could be long. Because remember, every time they have a caution, they got to turn around. And then 200 laps. Think about how many cautions that could be, folks. So come on over there, seven folks. And looks like the green's down, and we're going racing again. Oh yeah. Double zero of Derek Smith has given Brian Quinn enough fight for his money for first position, folks. Remember, folks, Derek Smith won all three. The, the, he's the semi in the feature next week, so he's going to see what he can do this week. See if he can't do a repeat performance. Derek Smith is your race leader, folks. See if they can keep it up and take this heat, folks. Bob, Bob over there going on between Bob Boucher in the 78 car and the number three car of Jim Duke. We've got two left to go, folks. The race leader is Derek Smith in the double zero car. So we've got one lap left to go. And there's your race winner, folks, the double zero of Derek Smith. Followed by the number nine of Brian Quinlan and the 78 car of Bob Boucher. So we're going racing. The 59 of Daniel Williams is your race leader early in the race, folks. He's got serious heat on his tail. Got the 30 of Aaron Lewis hunting him down. Aaron Lewis hunting him down. Aaron Lewis hunting him down. Well, we got to spin up the 30 of Aaron Lewis. Gets right around backwards. Almost gets collected. Out on the track, folks. Tough break for Aaron Lewis, folks, in the number 30 car. You see that wobbling wheel there, folks. He's going to be into the pit for a while. Going to line it back up, folks, and bring it back out and start racing again as soon as we get. Folks. 
Daniel Williams in the 59 car is your early race leader, folks. He's got my car, it's the number five car, hunting him down. Daniel Blade is as your race leader, folks, followed by the number five of Mike R. Snow and the 27 of Dave Milburn. <laughs> the race leader, the number 59 of Daniel Blade is with a commanding lead, folks, he's got himself about six car lengths there. One lap to go for a race leader number 59 of Daniel Blinas. Got a battle for third going on between the 27 of Dave Milburn and the uh, step 44 of Jim Denham. There's your street stock winner, folks, in the first beat of the afternoon. The 59 of Daniel Blaine, folks, that's Sportsman, not street stock. Got our second Sportsman, Budweiser late model Sportsman heat coming up here in just a few seconds, folks, as soon as we get the clean up truck off the track. And Daniel Blaine is back on the pitch, and all the cars out here for the next team. We're going to go racing again, folks. Remember, our canteens are open at both ends of the track. The Greenstown folks are working on racing. Second, Budweiser Late Model Sportsman Depot. Some serious racing going on. These guys are really fighting for their points, folks. Come on, Danny. The 15 of Dan Burke is your race hitter at the moment, folks. The 87 of Don Pond in second place and the 48 of Dave O'Blaine has knocked them down. We've reached 
sure I have to wear my first cut. I thought I was just four star and I was in the 19 of Tim Rogers and the skate of Adam Pond. Sitting in second place, folks. We're right behind the number 15 of Dan Burke. He's going to see if he can put some moves on up. Uh, Battle for fourth going on. Folks, between Father and Son, Adam Bond in the 78 and Donnie in the 86 car. Folks, we want to send all them youngsters down into the play area now, folks. El Taquito's on the hunt. Shit, I never, never, never noticed the race was over. Huh? I never even noticed the race. The race was over. Here's winner Dan Burke in the number 15 machine sponsored by Buck Tooch Radiator Repair, LeBlanc oh. Towing, Kent Auto Parts, Atlantic Renman Racing, Quaker State, Galant Auto Salvage. He's been racing for five years and he's driving himself a 1997 Chevy. know how close this, this class is, folks. Between first and second position, there is no space here, but first, folks. <coughs> Here's, folks, let's hear another hand for the number 15 of Dan Burke. We go from a static start. So as soon as they get them all in, I'm nice and tight, and the guy gets off the track. We're going racing, folks. Green's down, and we're off to the races, folks. Gordon McLeod is your race leader, folks. Battle going. Second pin is 0 1 car and the 69 of James Smith, Cooter Smith, and the 69 of Gary Wilson. Second place, folks, in the 01 of Cooter Smith and the 69 of Gary Walton. Number 66 car of Tony Hurricane pulls off the track, folks. Must be having some technical difficulties. You guys must have a little bit of a hard time getting used to going in reverse direction, folks. Pushing him in the wall with a bait truck and doing it down because he's still out there both the halfway mark, folks. There he is, your race leader of the number seven car of Goldie McLeod in his Cavalier Type 10. 
followed by the 0 1 team, Scooter Smith, who just got into the side of the 69. Gary Wilson, they're fighting hard for second position, folks. Seven of Golden McHale. Got two laps up here this time around, folks, for race hitter number seven, Golden McHale. Uh, the first one I'm in. Oh, the number zero one car, Smith Smith gets slammed into the wall, folks. Tough break for him on the last lap, folks, for the number seven car, Golden McHale, gets past. Caution on the track, folks. The ambulance is coming out on the for getting out there like that, folks. You got to like that. They're doing a job. They're doing a fine job. Every time we have a gust, we turn them around, and that's what the boys are doing out there now, turning them around so we get going. of Terry Wilson is sitting on pole, folks. Right beside him, the 33 of Terry Mons and row number two, the 43 of Todd Hackett. 26 of Daniel Blind, bringing him to the back of the back. Wolfie well, did take a good. Some serious damage there on the front of that zero one car, folks. You take a look over there, that's the car. That's the cooter scooter. That's a new car, folks. He just got that car. He was driving a different car the last couple of races he's been at. He was driving that white car we see right out there in front of us folks, that 92 car of Alan Halfpenny. I guess maybe he's thinking now that he shouldn't have done the trade folks. The folks who are going racing again. Probably the 26 car, it looks like he stalled it out there right on the start line. 69 of Gary Wilson, Jury race leader, folks, followed by the 33 of Terry Monson and the 43 of Todd Hackett. Get a little greasy, coming out of turn number four there, folks. Your 
33 of Terry Mawson's coming up to get his checkered flag, folks. He's going to take himself a victory lap. Let's hear a hand for Terry Mawson, sponsored by Victor Lane Racing Apparel. Acadia Lumber, driving himself a little Toyota Tercel, folks. Let's hear a hand for him. Coming up next, we got the second semi. It's like the end of it. Because they're, they're, they're racing too funny. I'm getting too old for this. I don't know. No, they're racing too funny. They're stopping in between and turning around and going this way, that way. <laughs> you don't know which way they're going. I don't know. I don't either. Testing, testing. One, two, three. And we're going racing, folks. That green flag down and we're off to the races. We got ourselves a couple cars up there again with co-pilots, folks. The one eight car up there, Obama has a, has a lead and a co-pilot, folks. And the number 77 car of Troy Power has a co-pilot sitting in there with him, too. And the 99 car of Henry Bannister has a co-pilot. Caribbean Cougars in the field, folks. Number 28 of Dylan LeBlanc is your race leader, folks, followed by the number two of Jetty Bob Al. And caution, toad on the track, folks. We're going to be turning them around. That's Jimmy Fenwick driving in the 88 car. Looks like Keith Watson decided he wanted to take himself a break. Remember, folks, next week all races are brought to you by Hub City Auto Paint. We got our Sportsman 50 going on. Where did they hire me? Who's that? Number 80. Oh. Looks like the tank ain't so tough today, folks. Looks like he's going to be pushed into the pits. Just in case you're curious as to what they're doing, he's having a hard time keeping her going, so they're taking her off the track, putting them into the pits. Then we'll line them back up, oh, yeah, yeah. and we'll go racing. One more little tap should get him in there, folks. We'll bring them back around here, line them up all nice and tight again, folks, and then we're going racing. All right. They're, they're going to turn that into a in, into a Sunday driver's machine. So there's another one out there going to be ready anytime soon. It's going to be for sale, folks. So it's going to be ready any day now. And we're going to, folks. We're getting a little greasy coming out of turn number one there, folks. 28 of Daniel LeBlanc is your race leader, folks, followed by the number two of Jay Bonnell. Battle going up a third position between the 99 of Henry Bannister and the 58 of Mike Power. Seventy-seven of Troy Power gets into the wall. 
But DeLoe is a scared co-pilot. Folks, remember, he's got himself a co-pilot. We've reached the halfway mark, folks. Maybe I got a real close look at the law, folks. Yeah, it's going to be a real another win under his belt. Put another notch in his front belt, I guess, folks. One lap to go, folks. Number 20 car of Donald the Duck is sitting over there slowing down on the back straightaway, folks. And there's your reason, folks, the fifth grade of Mike Power. Zero four 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 one six four six nine nine one two or two three. That seven different two digit combinations. Zero eight. The green jam folks and we're going I said. If the youngsters don't have a ballot, folks, they don't have a program, they want to fill out a ballot anyways, they can enter to win for this week, but their name will not be in for, will not be eligible for the bicycle. If you want to be eligible for the bicycle, you have to have a permanent program official ballot. Number nine car, Brian Quinlan is your race leader, folks, followed by the double zero of Derek Smith. And battle of a third between the 75, Eugene Wiggles, and the 82 of Bill McLean. And Bill McLean takes the battle. Need of Bob Boucher's putting on some pressure.
There's the double zero of Derek Smith putting the pressure on. He takes the lead from Brian Quinlan. Two laps to go, folks, in your Street Stock Semi. The save is the Street Stock Semi. Second with the 82 car of Bill McLean and the number nine. One lap to go, folks, for race quarter double zero, Derek Smith. And there's your race winner, folks, double zero, Derek Smith. Man's on a roll, folks. That's his fifth win in a row, folks. Three the last time and two today, folks. Let's see if he can make that six, folks. He's got a feature coming up, folks. See if he can take a run for that. He's coming up to grab his checker flag to take his victory lap, folks. That's double zero. Derek Smith in his Lewis Engines 1976 Cheval, folks. Let's hear a hand for him. See him down there, folks, as soon as you see him going by. Send the youngsters on down to the play area. Watch for El Taquito in his big hat. Picks up the 30 of Aaron Lewis bringing up the back of the pack, folks. And the greens down, folks, that we're going with that. This is going to Daniel Wayne Fisher, right there, folks, called by the number five of Langer. Fifth to fifth out there. Step 30 of Aaron Lewis. 
Cessna 31 up to the Kid Lewis. And here's your race winner, folks, number five, there off Mike Ersino. Followed by the 27 at the... And that's the father who takes the win over the 30 and the 31 little battle they had going on. Looks like the 30 car, the father, took that battle. Various folks who race well, number five car, Mike Arson is 94, 95 old. Sponsored by Duncan Demolition, Speedy Mart Convenience Store, Mike's Auto Recreation, and Imperial Sheet Metal. Okay, folks, once, remember once you see that hostess Frito-Lay truck sitting over 16469912 or 23, you want to go down to the track and pick yourself up a bag of chips. As soon as you see the track, folks, you can't get your chips until you see the truck on the track. And the 87 car of Adam Vaughn. And we're racing, folks. King of Dannenberg is your race leader, folks. Get all those kids over there, out the Kittles down there, there's chips flying everywhere. Down to play area. We're allowed to be young kids down there catching chips. Dan Burke is here in Slater, folks. Turn around, folks. We're at the high and I hope that's five on down and five to go. Battle for third between the 78 of Adam Pond and the 48 of Dave O'Bleen. Is your race leader followed by the 37 of Slim Jim Penley and the 48 of 1996 Bush Champion Dave O'Brien? Two laps left to go, folks. Testing, testing.
it's been stopped for sure, good rain. Good And that's okay, because remember, folks, that car's got himself a co-pilot. There's, there's one of them out. Junior's got his brother Brian in there. They're both out of the car, folks. All right, let's hear a hand for the boys. Ooh, that makes a fun day, don't it, folks? That gets the old adrenaline rushing. You got to like that. All kinds of excitement here at Riverglade Speedway. Get the cameras out, folks. You'll want to take a picture of that one, home. Well, that's the first time this season, folks. Car right upside down on its hood, folks. Got the tow truck out there, folks, see if we can get that car off the track. You can drive around the track with your favorite driver. Hopefully the 6 year wasn't your favorite driver, because I don't think he's going to be taking anybody around that track, folks. Remember, folks, when that hostess truck is out there, if you've got a ticket ending with the following two-digit combination, 0444-1646. Now, last week, just celebrated her sweet 16 yesterday, folks. All of today's races are brought to you by Hostess Free Delay. It's the Hostess Free Delay Challenge. Watch for El Tequito. He's already given out two. He's already done two chip throws. And later on, he's going to be sitting out there on the track beside the Hostess truck. All of next week's races are brought to you by Hub City Auto Paint. Sportsman 50 going on next week. Draw a purpose for a possession and Sunny Drivers and Save Z Street Stocks are going to be here as well. In two weeks from today, July 13th at 6 p.m., folks, we got a 200 lap endurance race going on for Sunday Drivers and the Demolition Derby with $1,000 to win, folks. That's $1,000. You got to like that. All you got to do is get out there and feed up a car. I'd do that for $1,000. If you're interested and would like to participate in the Demolition Derby by entering an automobile, drop by in the garage area after the races and talk to Pat Rogers. He'll be the guy in that big Chev diesel truck that's been cleaning up the track all afternoon. Folks, we got two Sunday drivers, cars for sales, one's on the clean. 
These new four-cylinder drives are going to be racing here all summer long, folks. Building rules were made up by Chassis Builder Terry Furnham, Engine Builder Bill McLean, Riverblade Speedway Track Champion Ken McKenzie, and Track Promoter Pat Rogers. They all got together, put all their expertise together, and this is what they came up, folks. The most fun in the the main Kruger. Row number five, the number 99 car of Henry Bannister, driven by Les Lafergie. Outside row number five, 13, and we're going racing, folks.
stop while I take it in the middle. So, because he just couldn't keep it going over there. They couldn't come too close to him. He didn't want to do it. There is your receiver, folks, of 69 Kairos, Gary Wilson. Got up. The 26th turn. Daniel LeBron is back with Thomas Rapp, but he spins her back around and gets her back on the track. Terry Monson in, followed by the 69 of Gary Wilson, folks. Give him a good little boost in the points race, folks. He's going to pick himself up the checkered flag, and he's going to take his victory lap, folks. Let's hear it for 67, Pat Murray. Your Sunday driver's feature winner. There's our Pee Wee fan, Aaron Murray, is back out there on the track. The 69 was in the front. Well, look, you got me there, dear. You have any crash, didn't you? Yeah, I just slammed into the wall. See, that's... Coming up, just a few moments, folks. We got our Savings A Street Stock feature coming up. I really don't know. Just a bad day. You see the boys battle for points. Now, this tape, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to watch it tonight. Remember, folks, as soon as you see that hostess truck out there on the track, you want to go out if you got a ticket ending with the two with any one of the following two-digit combinations, 044416469912 or 23. Any one of those two-digit combinations, if that's the last two numbers on your ticket, that's any color ticket, you want to go out there and pick up, pick yourself up a bag of chips. we got 30 or so bags of chips to give away. See Pat getting his picture taken with his car on his Victor in the feature. Or even uh, the other fellow over here, they used to say, uh, like last lap and two, three last laps. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm Sounds out. like Pat's got himself quite the little cheering section over here. No, he don't do nothing. That's I why know. I didn't I couldn't know. I did not understand it. Not anyways. That's why I didn't know why 33 was going on. Remember, folks, if you want to get on the excitement, these cars are cheap, easy, fun. They're easy to build. They're cheap to build. All you need to do is get yourself a car. You can find these cars there. Diamond dozen, folks, any little old four-cylinder car. As long as that's front-wheel drive, folks, they're easy to find. All you got to do is put in a roll bar, take out the glass, put a safety plate in the door, paint on a number, and you're off to the races. 
This is kind of fun that you can share. Folks, you throw a seat in there, keep a seat on the passenger side, throw another seatbelt in there, and get some crazy guy to get in with you. Remember, folks, our canteens are open. If you're getting a little dehydrated there from the sun, you want to stop by our canteens. You've got all kinds of cold drinks. we got hot food. we got coffee. we got tea. we got hot chocolate. we got stuff, Pepsi, all kinds of stuff, folks. That's where you want to be. If you're overheating and dehydrated, folks, stop by the canteens while you're over there. Number nine car, Brian Chappell making a move on Eugene Wiggle. Clement in the number nine car takes place, folks. So the double zero making a move now on Eugene Wiggle. Battle going up second between the 82 car. Now put two teams and back to the car. Number nine car, Brian Quillen is your race leader, folks. Bill McLean put some pressure on the number nine car of Brian Quillen, folks. He wants to get himself a win under his belt in that 82 machine. Theaters also are points to the folks of Brian Clement. Oh, there's got 306 points in our point race. His closest competitor is Bill McLean with 233 points, folks. Brian Clinton is your race leader, folks. He's getting pressured by the 82 of Phil McLean. I hope he doesn't slip under a little bit up here, but folks, because there's a man that's coming down. We're, we've reached the halfway mark, folks, for race leader Brian Clinton in the number nine machine. going on for first post, first position folks, the number nine car, Brian Quinn and the 82 of uh, Bill McLean. And next to next folks, coming out of turn number four. Bill puts some serious pressure, looks like he's got himself a little bit of a lead going on there folks. Next to next in the back of the folks. And then turn number three, let's see what they can do. They're in side by side, folks. Now this is racing, folks. Brian Burke and the number three of Jim Duke. Battle going on for fourth position. We're in the double zero here. Bob Boucher. Two to go, folks. That's two laps to go, folks. to go 
Mitchell race through the front of the plane in the 80 Timothy. Let's see if he can hold off Brian Quillen and get himself a win here today. Looks like we're going to bring an end to the streak of the double zero of Tarek Smith. Folks, it don't look like he's taking this one. Here's your winner, folks, number 83, a turn the plane. Followed by the number nine of Brian Quinlan and the number three car of Jim. Sir hand, folks, for the 82 car of Bill McLean. Sponsored by McLean's Injury Builders. He's from Riverglade. He's driving himself by Chevin Paula. should be coming out on the track any minute folks if you've got a ticket ending with any of the any of the following two digit combination 04 44 16 46 99 12 or 23 stop on down the track when you are 23 that's any ticket any color with any one of those two digit combinations you got yourself a bag of chips all you got to do is Go out there to that truck that you see pulling around on the track and pick yourself up a bag of chips.
drag like they do and go racing. We'd like to welcome all our new guests first time here this season. We'll thank you a lot for coming out. We are one lot down, folks, and 24 to go. We've got all our cars back out there on the track, folks. They either repaired them or ripped pieces off. And the green center was on racing. Number five car of Mike Arsenal takes the lead off the restart, folks. Folks, that 85 car, keep an eye on you. Want to see a car that's for sale? You want to see our performance? Keep your eye on the 85 car. It's for sale, folks. Number five car, Mike Erso, trying to pull away from the back. He's getting himself a good lead and keep it. Number four car, Mike Erso, trying Bunch of them go outside past as the demon on the outside. It's a 7 eagle by him. We had the 19 go by him. We had the 40 eagle by him. The 37 go by him. The battle for a second going out between the 37 of Keith Lewis. That's uh, 31 of Keith Lewis and the 37 of Jim Kingley. And the five of Mike Arsner has himself a commanding lead, folks. Got himself about eight, ten car lengths there. Oh, the 31 car of Kid, the Kid Lewis hits the wall. He's got to leave from the green folks, so we've got caution out on the track again. Well, the 59 car of Daniel Guinness has something hanging off of it. But, never mind, I guess he don't have anything hanging off him anymore. His truck just flew off. Look at the damage on some of those cars over there, folks. You can tell this has been a real brutal night of racing. Remember, our candies are still open, folks. They're located in turn number four and turn number one. We got. Fries, onion rings, hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken burgers, all kinds of products. We got Pepsi products, we got Coke products, we got tea, we got coffee, hot chocolate, chips. We've got that decadent ice cream, sandwiches, we got gum. We've got all kinds of stuff sitting over there in the canteen. We got a soup. The other side, I missed it all together. I should have stayed at home tonight. Oh. I had enough work to do home. I should have stayed home. I know you I'm guys. I'm tired and I'm missing everything. You're not missing all. I got the rollover a while ago, but I missed this all together. I missed this all together, the freaking bugs and stuff are driving me nuts. It's going to itchy and scratchy. Next week we drink some bug spray, dude. Lined up, we're going to go racing again. Going to see them come out of turn number four. Let's see if the green's dropping, folks. There it is, folks, and we're going racing. Five laps down, folks, and 20 to go. Number five car, Mike Arsenault, has got some pressure all over him. He's got the Lynchian pushing on him. He's got Tim Rogers and David Lanzau pushing on him, folks. All vying for points. Oh, we're crashing her again, folks. Oh, the 87 car just got drove right on the top of by the 59 car of Daniel Brunus, folks. Man, what a day! As we were saying, you don't see it anywhere, folks, but right here at River Glade Speedway. It don't get any crazier than this, folks. And Donnie's getting out of the car, folks. He's got to be doing all right. He's climbing out. You see his son Adam there 
stop by to see how his dad was doing, folks. Here comes the ambulance again, folks. Man, I haven't seen the Emma's out on the track so many times since. I don't know when. See, folks, this is what you got to tell your friends about. Look at the action you see out here at River Glade Speedway. Where else in the, in the Maritimes can you find this kind of excitement, folks? Get your friends out here next week. Folks, you never know what's going to happen here at River Lake Speedway. Folks, cleaning, NB Net Internet, networking accessories, hardware, software, training, Magitronic systems, Kiwi notebooks, phone 386-TRCC, that's 386-8722, or fax me 387-7272, or you can email them at trcc at nbnet.com, nb.ca. Right in front of the cage, little boys, I'll tell you how are we doing tonight? How are we doing tonight, Captain? If it's 37.44 in the back, oh fuck, they're going to get mad. If it's 37.44 in the back, don't make sense. Looks like the 44 car of Jim Denham did get started up again, folks, and he's out there on the track ready to race. Followed by the number five of Mike Arsenal, who's getting moved up on by the 85 of Ken McKenzie. Son of Dave Wilburn takes the wild hair, folks. Looks like we've got another yellow coming out on the track, folks. We're at caution again. All right, folks. So I'd like to thank the women in the ambulance out there, folks. That's an all-female ambulance, the St. John Ambulance First Aid Post. Got the cleanup crew back out again, folks, and we got the tow truck out. A zero car with 86 points, but that might have changed a little bit after today. Get them going around the track, get them warmed up, and then we're going to go racing again. See, we can't get tightening up the field a little bit so they're bumper to bumper when they jam on the gas. Get ready to go for it. Ken McKenzie, the five car of Mike Arsenault, and 48 of uh, David Wynn from the 78 of Adam Hunt, Adam, four. Mike Arsenault. 
Raj in the 19th century, that's machine got himself a spy of Carl Lee, folks. We're at the halfway mark, folks. Down, 13 to go, folks. To race to the number 19 car of Jim Rogers on the 85 of Ken McKenzie and the 48 of Dave O'Brien, folks. Battle for fourth and number 5 of Mike Arsenal and the 78 of Adam Pond and battle on for six, the 59 of Daniel Blavis and the 15 of Dan Kirk. Battle for second between the last year's season point winner and the season before the 48 of Dale Lewis and the 85 of Ken McKenzie battling for second position. Right? Tim Rogers, folks, getting hunting down by the 48 of David Wynn, last year's points champion. And there he is, folks, the race leader, race winner, Tim Rogers, and the number 19 sounds fantastic, maritime engine tech boss, Layton's out about CPCW Unisex, probably in Lockheed, Canada. 1997 play a grand finishing followed by 48 of Dale Venus, the 85 of Ken McKenzie. I'd like to thank you for attending all of tonight's races, folks. Well, you're welcome to go to the pits, but if you do go to the pits, and both fences are open, folks, so you can get out at either fence. You don't need to come through where you came in to get in, folks. You can take this short way through. And remember, next week's races are brought to you by Hub City Auto Paints. Want to be here early to get a good seat, folks.